when you're getting divorced and you're talking to your lawyer about all the assets to be divided, or you're filling out an inventory, and they're asking a lot of questions about the details of all of your debts. What credit cards do you have? What is the account number? How much is owed on each thing? If there are things that you think you're just gonna keep and it doesn't need to be in the final decree. Is it okay to just not tell the lawyer about it? Because it seems like that putting all that stuff in the divorce decree is costing you money. My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney who's been practicing law in San Antonio, Texas and helping people get through divorce all through the state of Texas for the last 35 years. And I can tell you that I have seen many cases where this has, caused a big problem for years after the divorce should have been final. I've seen people come back 20, 30 years after their divorce and say, well, you know, we had this asset that we never divided, so now I want to divide it. And it turns out it wasn't listed anywhere in the divorce decree. Sometimes people will say, well, we had this little agreement on the side about our house, so we're just not going to mention the house in the divorce decree. What happens is, after all these years later, the spouse comes back into court and says, no, I want my half. It can be a very big mess because if it's not in the divorce decree and you owned it during the marriage, the judge can go back and divide it, however the judge thinks is fair, many years later. You want to make sure your divorce decree is complete and that it settles everything so that you don't have to come back into court later.